hello my friends and welcome to my hobby home my name is Kathy thank you so much for coming and visiting with me today we are doing our weekly update I have had a lot going on um, if you remember last week I took a few vacation days to do some house um, rearranging reorganizing but we do have the bedroom set up it's not perfect but it's just about there the bed is set up i have vacuumed it i still need to shampoo that carpet i should have shampooed before i set the bed up but i was so excited to set the bed up i just set the bed up still have a few things i need to get out of there but i also have some things i need to put in there but that's my update on that first thing that uh, I will say I do have in this video the winners of the 2k giveaway and the longevity giveaway the video you know that was kind of extra long I got y'all covered I do have both of the giveaways I apologize for not having the 2k announced on the 1st of June but with the reorganizing or whatever we're going to call it I just have not been able to do it it's been a struggle to give you all a video every day um so let's get started now you know i have my cross stitch and i have my diamond painting um i only was able to work on my cross stitch maybe two days this past week so there really wasn't much um accomplishment i didn't get very far on it so i'm not going to pull that into this because i have enough other stuff to show you guys so let's get started with um, things that I need to complete like it's finished but it's not finished the first thing is my pressed flowers I have this ready and all I need to do is just cut the fabric and put it together I've got to pull that up a little higher on my to-do list because this week I kind of ran out and I was like well I just need something that's a little quick to do and I pulled out a subscription box and that wasn't real quick if y'all got me so that subscription box was my open gate quilts now it was a table topper and it's I love this it's the old glory it's the line of old glory um, this is only half of it this is a table topper I did complete this I completed the top but I do need to go on and uh, sandwich it and quilt it so I will back and quilt it sometime <laughs> sometime i do have um i lost my train of thought there i have i still have my craftsman to bind and now that i have that bed set up i really want to get my craftsman bound and put on that bed but right now it has a store-bought quilt on it it's just printed fabric you know with um like quilting on it so I mean that'll work it'll be okay for right now but I got to get that craftsman done so I can get that bed finished so let's see what else okay now those are my completed things that I need to um, go on and finish I need to to do my finishing on it I'm moving that one out of the way because it's a new thing I, I know I'm doing a lot of new things. Let me just move it over here. Oops, I'm bumping y'all. The next thing that I worked on this week, I'm not going to pull the whole thing over here because it's kind of heavy. Let me see. This was um, the Twin Star Basket. It's um, Peaceful Baskets. This is that quarter shops uh, block of the month they're so along 
and this is block two i did complete block two this week i try to get the on um, these as soon as i get them because if i don't y'all it'll it'll end up like my motor block heads and my creative notions it'll end up on the back burner not being done and i can't have that because i bought that whole fabric kit so i have to do that one now let me pull my other ones we'll talk about this one in just a second but the next thing i still have on my table going is our tree of life i should be getting my next clue sometime this week i am so excited and y'all don't forget cotton cuts their color waves that you can register now and a lot of the color waves are already gone um i'm so happy i was able to get in and get my color way the first day because after the first day it was gone the one i got i got um dusty rose it's the very first one i had i was thinking about getting the uh christmas one uh, when you look at the colorway it's kind of on the bottom right it's the reds and grays but i was like i don't know i really wanted some brighter colors because i got plenty of christmas quilts that i'm, I'm wanting to work on so we're gonna be good on that and this is kind of neat so i'll pull this other one up here and i did complete um i think clue four and five and this is what they look like and i'm going to tell y'all my they a hot mess they a hot mess and the ones that are this bad i don't know i may go back and i don't know i don't know but <laughs> it to me it does not matter a quilt is a quilt it don't matter if them things turned out or not but um it's the first time i've ever done one of these and getting them points and edges to match has always been a struggle of mine but that's why i keep doing them is because i want to get them right i want to learn how to get them right but that is my brown bag mystery piece of cake i am working clue five right now um you probably saw yesterday the uh step one of clue of five that's what this what i just showed you is step one of clue of five clue five and uh, we will be continuing this until we have this assembled this is not going to go on a back burner nowhere it's going to be done now something new i've started and y'all have seen it it was just something i've been wanting to do and i've seen people doing it and i'm like i've got to try this you see the paper here this is uh somebody had told me use uh foundation paper piecing i believe that's what this says this is um it's 10 inch paper piecing squares use as a foundation for piecing fabrics i thought it said foundation paper piecing on it but but it, it works well it's real thin um at first i was struggling with it i'm not gonna lie i was struggling with it but these are the two squares that i have done get my squares together here so you can kind of see these are my two squares i don't know how we're going to put them together but i will put four of them together to make a full square and this is something i've been wanting to try and i am using the bunny hill designs the sugarberry i'm just using up my scraps that i had left and not only did i have jelly rolls and stuff like that but i've actually got yardage here that was never cut i've got jelly rolls i've got that i'm going to cut up i'm going to cut these into different size strips um and i and i've got more fabric over here i mean i didn't pull all of it out i've got i've got several different things of fabric i may not use it all 
it's just according to um oh, i didn't put that up in there but it is just according to um how many it takes to make a good size quilt i don't know if i want it to be a throw or you know like a normal throw a small throw or a large throw so the videos will be added here for the winners of the 2k giveaway and the longevity giveaway hi guys it is giveaway time i'm sure you were thinking i forgot it i want to show you i have my video link here our word was quarter uh let's see you have to know how to do math to do this we're getting our comments here we had 54 unique comments now i did not get to do this on the first like i thought i was going to we're going to go here we're going to blow this up we're going to click start this is my 2k giveaway our winner is donna bogart the word to use was quarter and you see her comment there donna bogart you are the winner of the 2k giveaway uh, if you look in the description of this video you will see my email address in there just shoot me an email with your information and i will have your goodie box mailed out to you thank you so much i have an additional giveaway going on and it was in the bob and blooms finale it is a longevity giveaway because that was a very long video and let's see oh i didn't i didn't do my addition we had 39 comments the word that needed to be in this one gonna blow that up was flower f-l-o-w-e-r becky anderson you are the winner i say flower i start things that i say okay so becky anderson 365 you are my longevity giveaway winner if you will check in the description, you will see my email address. Please send me an email with your contact information, your address, so I can ship out your goodie package. Thank you so much. Now, what you've all been waiting for is for me to announce the pattern that I will be using for my sew along. The sew along will begin July 1. This is a scrappy smasher stash um sew along now we know i had picked out christmas fabrics just for this i didn't know what pattern i was going to do but this is my stash now because i purchased it but i got the starberry and i figured the star you know it has enough different in there and i got two i got two of them so i'm hoping this is enough if not i'm just gonna have a small quilt <laughs> but the fabric i mean the pattern that i have chosen and y'all if you watch tomorrow you will see me doing a practice of one of the squares of this it is called scrappy sandwiches um I found it on Craft for the World website. It's not really a pattern. They just show you how to take your scraps and make something out of them. But this is the pattern. Now, I fell in love with this pattern when I saw it. I, I love all of the, how they line up all your scrappies right there. And then you put a solid color in the middle. Uh, I'm going to use the, this is a Bella Solid that they included with the line. I'm going to use this as my center color. 
I think that'll go beautiful with those colors. And it does call for some, you know, like you can actually scrappy all of the white, all of these whites right here. You can actually make them any color you want to, but I have white that I can do that with. And it's actually um, probably an end of the bolt because I've had it, I bought it, it was a 10, 10 yard bolt and I've used it on several quilts already. So, but guys, this is the pattern that I'm using. I hope y'all wanna join me for this. Um, I'm so excited to do this, but if you watch tomorrow, um, yeah, tomorrow, Tuesday, you will see me doing a practice block. And I don't know how many scrappy pieces we need to do this. I, I don't have a clue, but I, let me tell you how it says. Um, I'm trying to see if it give, I thought it gave me an amount because we're going to make 79, 79. So I have two packs two charm packs and you have to be at least three and a half inches long so i'm thinking now the width does not matter they could be different widths so I'm, I'm looking to see if it says you know if you want to do this with i thought they said how many we needed it doesn't but i had like i said i have the end of bolt of some white that I'm probably going to use. I'll just make sure it does coordinate with the white in my starberry. But that's going to be my quilt that I make with that. So guys, these are my updates that I have. Isn't this exciting? I'm excited to be getting that tree of life within the next week. I have another subscription box that should be coming in this week as well um i'm actually surprised i didn't get it saturday but i didn't um it may come in today monday uh but this is what i have and this is what i'll be doing uh, pretty soon i'm like i said though i'm still working on my house i'm still trying to get it all um cleaned out <laughs> i'm not really i haven't really done as huge a purge as i want to do because like i did end up just putting a box back here in my sewing room and that's what i'm trying to do is get away from just having boxes of stuff and it mainly has paperwork like memorabilia stuff in it that i really need to find somewhere to put but guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you've not yet become a subscriber, please feel free. Click on that notification, click on your subscribe button first, but click on that notification bell each and every time I upload a new video. You will receive a notification that new content is out there. Uh, feel free to leave a comment. Tell me what you think. I do try to respond to each and every comment personally. And as always, until I see you again, have a very blessed day. Goodbye.